Well, good afternoon, Colin. The 32 year old was in court this morning. The charges stem from an incident that took place at this McDonald's drive through here in Liberty Township. Rest Rutherford kept his head down during the entire video arraignment this morning in Area 2 court. He's charged with OVI and improperly handling a firearm. The Butler County Sheriff's Office says Rutherford was found passed out behind the wheel in the McDonald's drive through. Investigators say his truck was in in gear and running at the time. They say the state rep failed to failed a field sobriety test and refused a breathalyzer. The sheriff's office says they also found a loaded firearm under the armrest of his truck with 15 rounds in the magazine and one round in the chamber. Well, hours before the arrest, Rutherford had been at the Butler County Lincoln Day dinner in Fairfield. In court today, his attorney Jeff Bowling argued Rutherford should be released on his own recognizance. Mr. Rutherford has no criminal record whatsoever that I'm aware of. Um, and he has substantial ties to the community. He's not going to flee. He's a, uh, he's a high profile individual. I don't know if he tried to, if he'd even be able to. He's very recognizable. You see the cameras here this morning. He's not going anywhere, Your Honor. And today, the judge ended up setting his bond at $2,500, which he did just post. If found guilty, it could cost him the seat in the House. Also, he faces up to a year in prison on the weapons charge and six months in jail on the OVI if found guilty. Reporting live in Liberty Township, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5. All right, we've got uh, this released by the Democratic response here. It says in part alcohol and guns are a reckless mix. We're glad nobody was physically hurt as a result of Representative Rutherford's actions. We are extremely disappointed in Representative Rutherford's actions and pray he takes this opportunity to get the help he so obviously needs.